Just a quick video on my conversion to a sand filter, pump, and salt system for my above ground Intex pool. The pool is 22 feet across and uh, 52 inches deep. And uh, I decided to do this because I was sick and tired of adding chlorine to my pool every couple days uh, because it was constantly turning green. So as we all know, the Intex pumps just aren't strong enough. So I took my system and converted it to a one and a half horse pool pump, 19 inch sand filter, and this inline Intex chlorinator. First thing I did was cut a sidewall skimmer in and uh, just use the washer as a template, cut the skimmer in. Um, now this is my only in, and as the water is filtered in, it goes through the basket, catches all the top particles and leaves and everything else. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple leaves on the bottom. I still need to do a little vacuuming, but you can see the pool is nice and clear. It has not been this clear in a very long time. The pool is about two years old, and uh, it is absolutely gorgeous now with no uh, discoloration. One important thing before you put this skimmer in, fill your pool up, let it sit for a few months, give the exterior walls a chance to expand, so when you do put the side skimmer in, it uh, won't break away from you. I installed these ball valves um, just to go ahead and easily shut off the water. Uh, the quick disconnects as well if I ever needed to work on the pool pump just unscrew those and I don't have to worry about uh, the hard PVC having an issue this is all inch and a half PVC um, I used inch and a half flexible PVC for the sides of the pool where the uh, water comes in through the skimmer and out through the uh, returns just because of the flexibility of the pool, if you use hard PVC on the side, it could weaken the joints and cause you a major problem and a leak later. Just a walkthrough of the uh, chlorinator. Um, water comes in. You can see the chlorinator with a, that uh, kind of fuzzy looking water going out. That's actually uh, creating the chlorine from the salt. And then, uh, of course, back in, I did a T here. I split my two returns. Um, in order to have better jet flow. One important thing to note, a lot of people don't realize, is that uh, when you have the returns on the inside of the pool to uh, aim down the jet so you get better circulation. There was just a quick shot of me using the original valves. I had to use two inch uh, female adapters onto the valves and then reduce them down to an inch and a half to uh, fit the inch and a half pipe. That was the only special thing I had to do when it came to those valves. Other than that, the PVC threaded right on there with no problem, and there's absolutely no leaks. Pipe thread is a key. Make sure you put pipe thread on everything because it does hold the uh, moisture out. Here's just a quick shot of the uh, another ball valve that I did to turn on and off a uh, little fountain that I installed on the side. I did take this idea from uh, pictures I saw online. It was a great idea and I figured what the heck I might as well do it and uh, the kids love it it jets out uh, 10 jets of water to almost the center of the pool and uh, you know just adds the ret another return to the pool but uh, adds a little bit of fun too so that's basically it there's my uh, complete setup leave your comments below any questions I'll try to answer them for you if not take it easy thanks for watching